The Snow Queen is a story of two lovers, a young boy and girl named Kay and Gerda, who learn that true love comes from the sweetness and innocence of heart. It begins with an evil flying troll who creates a mirror that reflects only the bad and ugly in all things, ignoring the good and beautiful. The troll accidentally drops it to earth, where it shatters to billions of small pieces, some of which get into Kay's heart and eyes. Instantly, he only sees the ugly in Gerda. After abandoning her, he's tracked down by the Snow Queen, a sorceress who puts him under a deep spell and steals him off to her palace. Gerda goes on a long, dangerous quest to find Kay, and when she finally does, the power of her love frees him from his prison. Her tears melt the shards from his heart, his own tears melt the shards from his eyes, and they leave the palace happy to love each other again. This is the story of what happens upon the Queen's return. Having witnessed this, the troll decides to use his powers for good, and imbues the walls of the palace with the effect of the original mirror. Upon her return, the Snow Queen finds Kay gone, and now can only see the ugliness in herself. Fire pours from inside her until her tears burn her and her palace away from the earth, never to corrupt another person again. Alright, so the first thing I did was get rid of my eyebrows, and I used a glue stick and concealer, and this is not a good look. I don't recommend it. Then I mixed a gel liner, a white gel liner, with the color correcting concealer palette, and because I wanted it to, I didn't want it to just be white, I wanted it to have like a little bit more of a lavender cast. And I'm just basically covering myself with this using the NYX Kabuki brush. I'm going in with um, a sponge too to add a little bit more product and make sure that I'm like pressing it into my skin and then I'm setting it with a white shadow and a translucent powder. Now I'm going in with this full throttle uh, shadow quad and I'm taking this blue shade and I'm going to mix it with the translucent powder and I'm going to start contouring. I wasn't a huge fan of how green this was picking up. It looked a little bit too like amphibious to me. So um, I fixed that a little bit later. So I'm just basically going in with this and a white eyeshadow back and forth to highlight and contour my face. I guess you could call it that. Do you love this rock music? I'm like loving it right now. Now I'm going in with the Beauty School Dropout palette. Um, this is the Freshman, and I'm just picking up some of the lavender shades and blue shades to define the eyes. Cause like if you're not gonna have eyebrows, you gotta have some eyeshadow. Again, just going back with that white eyeshadow. Now for the nose, I went in with like a dark blue shadow kind of, and I wasn't loving it. Uh, it was ended up looking a little bit intense. So I went in a little bit later on with a light lavender shadow to kind of like <laughs> tone it down. Now I'm going in with a, one of the blushes from one of the Beauty School Dropout palettes, I believe it's The Graduate, um, and just kind of like using that pink to neutralize the green and that blue shadow. And of course, you have to highlight, so I'm using the lavender shade from the uh, Strobe of Genius palette. Like I said, I use basically anything in these kinds of looks. So when you need to use lipstick on your eyebrows, you need to use lipstick on your eyebrows. I think it's a testament to the fact that you don't need to have a bunch of special effects makeup products to do special effects makeup. Now I'm going in with the Prismatic Shadow and Frostbite to highlight, of course, you have to highlight. She's the Snow Queen, you gotta highlight. And going back over that Strobe Genius to highlight even more. It's a lot of back and forth. I don't play on these looks ever, which some people might find stressful, but personally, I think they always turn out better when I don't. Now I didn't want my eyebrows to just be gone, so I went in with that gel, white gel liner and just kind of like feathered them out and up to add like a, li a lift to the eyes. So you can kind of see that I have eyebrows, but like not really. It's kind of like reverse filling in your brows. And then of course you're gonna contour your face, you have to contour the rest of your body. 
I went in with that blue shadow again, and like I said, way too green. I'm gonna neutralize it. And uh, I kind of wanted the body part of it to be a little bit more patchy because she's kind of falling apart. Yeah, I kind of liked it to look a little bit more messy. Now I'm using the NYX Lingerie Eye Tint in White Lace and just kind of putting that in areas that I want to highlight a little bit more. And then I'm going in with this NYX Glitter in Crystal. What better to cover up those dark circles? And then if you're gonna go in with glitter, you go in with glitter. So basically glitter went everywhere. And then using a white liner just to open up the eyes a little bit more. You guys see that I like did my nails specifically for this? Like, they're silver and they look so cool. Okay, to be honest, there was a lot of back and forth with the lips. I was not feeling this color at all as soon as I started putting it down and I tried to lighten it up with the coconut lipstick. I didn't like that. <laughs> then I went in with the lipstick in Zen Orchid to try and like make it a little more purple. I tried to deepen up the outer part of it and like kind of ombre it. I ended up just like covering it in shimmery shadows and glitter <laughs> because I just was not feeling it. By the end, I think it worked, but it was a lot of layers. And then of course, I had to use the Vivid Brights liners. Then I used these NYX uh, wispy lashes that I just painted silver. I didn't really want lashes to ruin it. I didn't want the lashes to like take away from it, which isn't like me. And then, you know, more glitter. And when I say more glitter, I mean more glitter. Now, in most of the uh, artist renderings that I saw online, she's depicted as wearing a like a fur coat. So um, I decided to kind of like have my own take on that by using this feather boa and then creating like, I don't know, sort of an icy feel with the cellophane. And then bless my heart, I just painted the rest of myself. And then you can grab basically any old like pink weird foam visor that you have and glue some feathers to it for the crown. You could stop here, but uh, then I decided to go in with the tears. So for the tears, I used a combination of the lingerie lid shadows and some glitter, and I mixed them with a gloss just so that they would look a little bit more like tears. This was like the whole idea behind the look. Like I needed to have these tears. Everything was icy and blue and lavender and then this like hot bronzy color popped so well against all of that. So there you have it people. That's it, that's the look. Makes my teeth look really yellow. Blue lipstick, so true. All right, nap. No? No, I've color. seen yellow teeth. Oh, okay. Okay, now I have to like move this stuff sort of out of the way so that I can take pictures of myself. It's gonna be really difficult. Then I'll... Um... Polar bear goes to his parents and he's like, Am I 100% am I polar bear? Like, are your parents polar bears? Are their parents polar bears? Were their parents polar bears? Like, I'm in fact 100% polar bear. And they're like, yes, of course. 
and this goes on for like weeks and then months and finally they're like this is ridiculous why don't you believe us that you're 100 polar bear and he goes because i am freezing no 